very first YouTube video and I'll be showing you how to make this cross. Today you're going to need your loom set up like this. So you're only going to use one row. So what we're going to do first is make these parts. So you're going to grab two bands and wrap it around two times. Grab another two bands, wrap it around, or we'll put it on your hook, and push that on and over. So it should look like that. Then you're going to do that maybe another two times. And grab two bands, put it on your hook, push it and hook it back over. Now one more time. it on and over so it should look like that now I'm just going to put that on a holding hook so just push it on like that now you're going to make one more so you grab two bands wrap it around two times two wrap it around just like that grab another two bands And push that on. Looks like that. And another two bands. Push it on. And over the top. Now the last one. Two bands. Push it over. And now onto your hook. You don't need to put this on on a holding hook because now we're just going to place the rubber bands down. So make sure the pegs are facing away from you. Just going to grab two bands and put it down. Another two, put it down. You're going to need to do this about nine times to make it this length. Or if you want it shorter, you can. Three. Four. Seven. If you wanted to make it short like I've made this one, that goes down seven times, but I like to keep it nice and big like this. So I'm just going to put it down nine times. Eight and nine. Now you can turn your loom around and we're going to put these parts on the, on the loom. So you're going to count four. One, two, three, four. Push those down and place them on that peg. Just like that. And then the same with the other one. But push all those bands down. Over the top. And out. So you have one facing one way, one facing the other way. So it should look like this. Okay, so now we're going to grab another two bands and you're going to put them on the end as a capping band. Like that. Twist it around about three times. So now you're going to reach under all of those bands and grab the bottom two and hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And just keep hooking the bottom ones to the next one all the way to the end. Now when you get to this peg, it's going to be very full, so you really need to make sure you don't snap your bands. If you can't see because there's so many bands, you can just pull it to the side and grab it like that, that will make it easier. Around, into the next, around, to the top, to the next peg, around, to the next peg. So now we can grab a band. If you want to hang it like on your keys or something, you can grab, put it with two, 
that will make it just stronger so they don't snap like that and then grab another one I'm going to use two you're just going to grab put it like that them over your finger grab the back one over to the top make sure it's at the top of your peg let it go and just pull it so now I've got my two bands there now I can take it off the loom holding on to your secure bands just hook it off the bands I've used for this are the glow in the sun bands so that's how your cross should come out I hope you enjoyed my video this was my very first video and please like it and subscribe thank you